Okay, welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Uh, uh, when we last left off, um, uh, we, we had told Lynn what had happened to Camilla, and now she's freaking out. Her father isn't the, <coughs> isn't the stupid old justice minister? I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl kidnapped for the ransom of her father's execution. Her own. Of kid, kidnapped for... Oh, yeah. For the ransom. Yeah. It's just too much! It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other loose twists, too. Like the kidnappers winding up in and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could be just coincidence. And, the, and them sens sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I I told you before, Detective. I want you, uh, you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Ah! How, how can I believe in you? I'm a realist. Please. If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It, it's complicated. Oh, well, why does, it, does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, does that mean everything's normal? It doesn't... It, it did, doesn't prove it. And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check up for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make that it's not my daughter? Oh, that's Camilla. Get ca com Caminella. Cam 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 your guy. The detective. We. That's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Mr. Minister? Quite a pickle. Miss me, baby? <laughs> Inspector Cabanella! Oh, yeah, gonna strut over. Yeah! Kick the air. Ow! <laughs> I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. Nice! Oh my gosh, it looked like he just broke his back! His coat is clipping through his leg. Yeah, wow. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Here comes Jowd. Oh, look at those guys! <laughs> their, their, their hats or helmets or whatever are ridiculous. Detective Jowd, I'm so sorry, I, I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. That, 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 if it were being said by a villain, would... That, doesn't that sound like something that... Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and a student. It brings a tear to my eye. Too bad you're both about to die. I mean... Oh, so, sorry, it's him who's saying that. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Trick time! Trickity trick trick. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? The execution was tonight... I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jow could never have done such a thing. <laughs> oh, come on now, baby! I know no such thing! Huh? I know two things to be true. And two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. 
What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here... To brag about your accomplishment, isn't that right, Inspector? For, for your own selfish reasons. So, were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving my friend? A friend. A friend. Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on. Including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, that I think that's um, Jow. Jow. Oh, okay, that's enough, Lynn. But Detective Jow. I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But but. Okay, guess I have to do stuff now. Yeah, I... <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk to that guy, because he never says anything useful. Um, I guess we could talk to Lynn. According to what I heard, Emily, uh, Emily is was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers. They were lying in wait for her. But Emily didn't get... Didn't go out after all. She she couldn't. She had a fever. Huh. And so the kidnappers grabbed Cam Camilla by mistake instead. Apparently, Amelie and Camilla are uh, about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh, right. You asked her to bring the music box. Camilla... Um, guess that's all we're getting from her. Maybe I should talk... Oh, I can talk to Jowd. He'll be helpful. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? The, the carrying out of your execution tonight. <laughs> I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple! Why uh, not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla! What? what? Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No! It can't be! And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said that the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him! I'm the one who shot her! I'm the one who shot Alma! And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it! Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. Uh, exclamation point? <laughs> uh, you dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. <clears throat> is, is it true what Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? Okay, the murder five years ago. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's, birthday. We came home from work, and she went in first. Bang! I don't think you needed to say that. <laughs> the there, there was already a sound effect. Yeah, there was a sound effect. <laughs> what was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible! 
Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. It made an impossible move. An impossible move? Uh, an impossible move. Camilla was quite a little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right. That was an antique gun. I had had... antique gun I had had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't! It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday! And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Because when it rises up, it's facing the one. It's. It's facing that way, but then it turns around. It, it, it was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Yeah, that's what was supposed to happen right there. <coughs> Somebody made it. Cha somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. It just, you know what, how about the powers of the dead? Let's go completely off the rail. Yeah. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot a mill. Alma? Hey, Alma, sorry. There are no other, there is no other explanation. That's what I convinced everyone of, even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. Of the power of the dead, right? The powers of the dead. <clears throat> that day in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about those powers. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. The kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Chow! There's still time before dawn, a little anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? And adjustment to the scene. What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Come to think of it. Dan. There was a Dan. -an! It's Gun Man. <laughs> there, <laughs> that would be redundant. <laughs> there's, there was no, uh, there was no gun there. Just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secret. Because I secretly switched the gun out of the out of that frame with the picture. And take the black. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. But one thing was for certain. That gun was still smoking. Smoking! You're not the mask. Yeah. <laughs> so that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before. I hit. I'm tripping over my words. I hit the gun before I went to the police. You hit it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? Y you mean? And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon re ready to give to the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. And that's it. Nothing more to talk about. 
Detective Jowd, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time! Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd, and of course little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it! For Camilla's sake! That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jout. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Temsic Park. Camilla left it there. That gun is important evidence. You better go pick it up. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. Sissel, take care of Detective Jout. And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. <coughs> and yet again, I say... I say, easy enough for you to say. And they're saying something. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate! A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in... But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend, in more ways than one. Spin. What do you say, you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands! Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please don't bow down to me. And especially not that low! <laughs> In that case... Can I have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Would you kindly? <laughs> yes, sir. Would you kindly get us a van? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he pulled that out of him! Nice moves! Did he just pull that out of his ass? The van should take about ten minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row Inmate? Anyway, I was hoping we'd get further than this, but lots of talking, what can I say? Uh, actually I will... let's read this real quick. I'm glad to see Detective Jowd all fired up now, but I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lynn does come through with the proof of Jowd's innocence, it will be meaningless if Jowd or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about that kidnapping somehow. Maybe I should ask for some advice from the capable detective here. You know what? This is the last episode of the day. <laughs> Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was, kidna who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one. I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great. It would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it? How? I doubt his wife is ever <coughs> going to answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right. But if a telephone works in both directions, but a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? The door swings both ways. I mean, wait. This isn't Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> 
What I'm saying is, only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost? Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change the situation. Gee, Detective. For these past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter. But is there a way? Now I know where I need to go. But we'll have to go there. Well, I I'm wondering if you go there if it'll change the chapter or not. Oh, well, I guess we can try. This might start off a whole cinematic, but it shouldn't take too long. I'm not talking to you! You never have anything helpful to say. Well, we know where we need to go. Lady Red's apartment. Shink! Just as I thought. This little girl is safe in her bed. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping? This last link in the long chain of sad fate lit a fire in Jiao's heart, and the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that's happened so far tonight has related back to me in some way, and I bet this mistaken ridden abduction does too. Hey, you were right, Mike! <laughs> Saving. Save complete. Continue playing? Well, let's just let the chapter... Okay. ...display. Chapter yeah. 13! Next time! Chapter oh, this is Strategy Guides, baby! Chapter 13! Uh, it, it will it's, just... it's saved, so I guess I can just turn it off. Yeah, and plus we could just, you know, you can go to chapter select and select yeah. 13. So, we're good. Uh... Kind of stop that. Whatever. See you guys next time for more Ghost Trick.